Welcome back to my channel. I am Coach Eo. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you the one-two punch that is absolutely necessary for men if they wanna have an abundance of options when it comes to women, okay? Now let's start with looks. Do looks matter? Of course they do, man. Think about it. Think about it like a boxer. What if a boxer would have said, you know what, I don't need that jab. Let's just say the jab is looks, okay? I don't need a jab. All I need to do is wait, just throw home run punches, okay? <laughs> In many cases, telegraph my punches. I'm only looking for the knockout. It's like a, a batter on a baseball team. He's always swinging for the fences, okay? It's not gonna work all the time, all right? You gotta have a system to what you do and the jab is like your looks. Okay, you got that jab, you're throwing that jab out into the world, that jab, okay? That jab is like how you present yourself in situations. You're throwing that jab. Sometimes you throw the jab in a, at a different angle. Sometimes it goes to the body, sometimes it goes to the head, to the jaw. Sometimes you're dressed in a suit, sometimes you're dressed in urban wear, sometimes you're in, a, in athletic wear, sometimes you're just going, you, you've got a nice leather jacket on. Your looks, okay, is like your jab. And it's setting up the knockout blow, which is that, that one thing you gotta have in addition to look. So listen, guys, let me tell you the truth. If there's anybody out there that tell you looks don't matter, they're lying to you. Okay, looks matter in all facets of life. You don't go to the deli or the meat department and pick out a meat that's purple and expired yesterday. No, you go for the meat that's, that's got about five, six days left on it <laughs> before expiration, and it's got a nice coloring. You don't pick out bread that has mold at the bottom and it expired, okay? It's in a uh, bargain bin, okay? Now you pick, a br you pick a loaf of bread that's got about 15 days left to go. Common sense, don't let anybody tell you looks don't matter. Looks do matter, okay? It's all about self-preservation. Looks also indicates to the world how you respect yourself. I'm a person, a man or a woman that self-preserves is a person who respects himself and his longevity, okay? And is most likely valuable to himself and to the outside world. Looks do matter. But again, what's the other thing, that knockout punch that you gotta have in addition to the jab? Remember how I talked about looks being your jab? It's how you jab your way in. People notice, oh, he's got a jab. He's got a stiff jab. Okay, sometimes he just throws out that feint, but then he has a stiff jab, which actually can sting. Okay, your look is like your jab. What's the knockout punch? It's your attitude. You gotta have attitude. Attitude is the sex appeal. The look is like visually stimulating. It's that jab, okay? It, it, it causes you to notice. So a boxer throws a jab, got a good jab, okay? Setting up, sometimes that one, two, three jab, okay? Three jabs in a row. The opponent's like, oh shit, okay. That's your look, okay? The girl sees you, got a nice jab. Like the way he presents himself, okay? But then here comes where he was working that jab, studying the opponent, okay? Then he comes with a knockout blow. Here comes the sex appeal and the attitude. Attitude is one of those things, guys. It's hard to describe, even as a coach. It, it's one of those things. It's just, it speaks without speaking. It's a stance. It's a look. Sometimes you don't even have to say anything. It's just a look. It's how you turn to the side. I mean, sometimes you just, Hey, what's going on? How you doing? It, it's just, it's a head nod. It's, it's, it's an attitude. It's not necessarily how you speak. It can be your verbal expression, but it could be, it's a lot of the times it's your non-verbal expression. It's how you look in your clothes. It's how you walk to the restroom. It's how you look at the woman. Sometimes you could just be across the bar. You just give her a head nod. It's, it's your attitude. It's how you order your drink. It's how you went into your pocket to pull something out. It's how you tell her to call you. It's, it's assertiveness, it's confidence. It's a man that can be without her. It's a, it's a man that can go to sleep by himself. It's a man that can go eat a meal by himself. It's a man that can jump on a plane and fly somewhere and go on vacation by himself. It's an attitude, it's a sex appeal. It's a man that can be without what the world needs. It's an attitude, it can't be described. Now if you pair that, that, that sexy ass attitude, the guy that's got the smirk, the guy that knows he can replace her at any time if need be. Okay, the guy that can be without her. The guy that can pass on that dime, those dimes that you call dimes, he could pass on her, man, because he knows what he wants. He knows where he'll thrive. Okay, it's this attitude, it's this sex appeal. If you pair that attitude with that jab, the looks, you are going to have 
an abundance of women. However, if all you got is the jab, the looks, and there's no attitude, you're going to get knocked out. Every boxer is going to figure out by round two or three, and they're going to dismantle you. But if you're that boxer that sets everything up with the jab, the looks, the presentation, the self-preservation, if you set it all up with the looks and on top of it, you got that knockout punch with that attitude and that sex appeal and that knowing of self and knowing that you could be with something or without something, you could stand it alone if you need to, you are going to be a champion in this game. Leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next one.